changed the trend after the company ran an ad featuring a black boy modeling a sweatshirt with the words coolest monkey in the jungle written on the front. Now the backlash has been swift as celebs from LeBron James, the pop star of the weekend, cut ties with the brand. Now I loathe not only the worst kind of stereotype, but also the time and energy that could be used fighting real racial injustice that will now be allocated to H&M. Now is H&M's marketing department this clueless? The company is based in London and in the wake of Brexit, it's hard to believe that nobody saw this ad and said maybe the black kid and the white kid should trade shirts. <laughs> Was this some kind of publicity stunt? If so, that executive succeeded in getting free press and can now happily use the newspapers these articles are printed on to line the cardboard box to collect his things when H&M fires him. But whatever the case, I actually see some good here. Because not only did the ad galvanize the community, but it also establishes a dialogue because it's important for people to know how others feel about these kinds of stereotypes that have persisted throughout the years. This is an opportunity to build a bridge. Now, H&M apologized and claimed that they didn't realize this would be offensive. Now, whether this is true or not, when I read it, it occurred to me that there are actually people out there who are, who are oblivious to the Black Monkey Association, like the kid in the ad. And quite frankly, that's beautiful. You can call it naivete or innocence, but it's a beautiful thing to know that there's people in the world who know of no relation whatsoever between black people and monkeys, especially considering how ingrained racial stereotypes have been in our shared history. So regardless of what H&M's intentions were, we can all be better off for it. Now the question becomes now, where do we go from here? Share your thoughts on WSA9's Facebook page with Get Up DC later and starting at 7.